Check out this extraordinary error, Penny. This 1956D Lincoln scent is a flip-over double struck in the collar, creating a fascinating and rare numismatic gem. Imagine seeing elements of the reverse lettering on the obverse side, while a strong date, mint mark, and part of the motto, In God We Trust, repeat on the back. This rare error occurs when a coin is struck normally, but instead of being ejected, flips over and is struck again. The result? A unique coin where one side displays the obverse design struck over the reverse and vice versa. Such anomalies are extremely rare, involving multiple mishaps during the minting process. The value of a flipover double struck error coin can vary widely, typically ranging from hundreds to thousands of dollars, depending on its condition and the clarity of the error. High grade coins with well defined double strikes are especially prized. In fact, this particular scent recently sold for an impressive $456 at Stax Bowers Auction. Take a look at another remarkable error penny. This undated bronze memorial reverse scent has an astonishing 70% of its obverse struck through a piece of cloth during the minting process, giving it a unique texture and pattern. Graded AU58 by PCGS, this scent weighs 3.09 grams. During minting, a piece of cloth accidentally got between the die and the coin blank, leaving an imprint on about 70% of the coin's surface. This rare error results in a one-of-a-kind coin, especially valuable if the cloth pattern is clear and the coin is in good condition. The value of such errors can range significantly, often fetching higher prices at auctions. Authentication by a reputable grading service like PCGS or NGC is crucial to verify the error and determine the coin's grade, which directly affects its market value. This particular scent recently sold for an impressive $360 at Stax Bowers Auction, Check out this extremely rare 1984 Lincoln scent, struck on an unplated zinc planchet with obverse die breaks. Graded Mint State 63 by NGC, this unique coin stands out in several ways. Typically, 1984 Lincoln scents consist of a zinc core with a thin copper plating. However, an unplated zinc planchet error occurs when the planchet misses the copper plating step, resulting in a silvery gray coin instead of the usual copper color. Additionally, die breaks happen when the die used to strike the coin develops a crack or break, creating a raised, irregular line or area on the coin's surface. In this case, the obverse die breaks appear on the lower part of the front side, featuring Abraham Lincoln's portrait. These combined errors make this scent particularly fascinating and valuable. It recently sold for an impressive $384 at Stax Bowers Auction. This penny might look like an extremely circulated and worn coin, but it's actually another unique mint error. It's a 1984 Lincoln scent struck with excess pressure, resulting in several fascinating fe features. An excess pressure strike occurs when a coin is struck with more force than usual, often due to a malfunction in the minting press or an error in setting the striking pressure. Here's what makes this coin stand out. One, enhanced details. The design elements, such as Lincoln's portrait and the inscriptions, appear more pronounced and well-defined. 2. Flattened areas. The excess pressure can cause certain areas of the coin, particularly the fields, the flat areas, to become more flattened and spread out. 3. Potential die damage. Striking coins with excess pressure can damage the dies over time, potentially leading to additional errors such as die cracks or breaks. This elusive scent showcasing the unique characteristics of an excess pressure strike, recently sold for $105. Behold this fascinating 1977D Lincoln scent, a rare gem that's double struck and features an obverse die cap. Graded Mint State 63 Red and Brown by PCGS, this coin has a remarkable story. During minting, the coin was struck twice by the die. After the first strike, it remains stuck to the obverse front die, creating what's known as a die cap. This die cap essentially turns the coin into a coin-shaped die, and subsequent strikes cause it to expand and lose detail, resulting in a thick, slightly distorted coin. In summary, a 1977D Lincoln scent with a double-struck obverse die cap is an incredibly rare and valuable error coin. Its value is influenced by the extent of the double striking, the visibility of the die cap, and overall condition. 
Authentication and grading by a reputable service are essential steps to determine its precise value. This scent, a true numismatic treasure, was recently sold for an impressive $1,260. Here's a fascinating find, a 1975 Lincoln scent struck on a copper nickel clad dime planchette, graded mint state 66 by PCGS. This error occurs when a coin is struck on a planchette intended for another denomination, in this case a dime. The result is a smaller, thinner coin than usual. A copper nickel clad dime planchette consists of a core of pure copper with outer layers of 75% copper and 25% nickel, which differs from the usual composition of a scent primarily copper-plated zinc. A 1975 Lincoln scent struck on a copper nickel-clad dime planche is a rare and valuable error coin. Its value is influenced by factors such as its condition, the visibility of the dime design, and collector demand. Authentication and grading are essential steps to determine its precise value. This scent, a true rarity, was recently sold for an impressive $1,320. Behold this intriguing 1966 Lincoln scent featuring an obverse foldover and lamination error graded mint state 64 brown by NGC. Lamination errors occur when a coin's metal layers separate, often due to impurities in the metal or issues during the minting process. In this case, the obverse foldover lamination affects the front obverse of the coin, causing a portion of the metal to fold over and separate from the rest of the coin. A grade of 64 indicates that this coin exhibits average or typical striking quality for the issue, with some marks or blemishes present, yet maintaining a good overall appearance. Coins with lamination errors are relatively uncommon, and those in uncirculated condition like this one are even scarcer. This exceptional scent was recently sold for $384 at Stax Bowers auction, highlighting its rarity and appeal to collectors. In summary, Stax Bowers Auction featured an exceptional selection of rare error pennies, each a testament to the unpredictable nature of minting processes. Among these treasures were coins struck on incorrect planchets, like the 1975 Lincoln scent on a copper nickel clad dime planchet, showcasing the beauty of numismatic errors. Coins with lamination errors, such as the 1966 Lincoln scent with an obverse foldover, added another layer of intrigue and rarity to the auction. The auction also highlighted coins with die cap errors, like the 1977D Lincoln scent double strikes, such as the 1977D Lincoln scent with a double struck obverse die cap. Each of these coins tells a unique story of minting mishaps and rarity. If you enjoyed learning about these fascinating coins, please like this video. Come, comment below with your thoughts or any rare coins you've encountered, and don't forget to subscribe for more captivating content on rare and valuable coins.